everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and today I'm going to be using the gel press along with the brushes and I'm going to stamp um, using our lovely fairies and I'm going to show you how to create a reflection using the Brer Roller. So I'm going to just first of all ink up this time I'm going to use the uh, colour box, the colour Deep Sea. So just transferring that ink onto my well used gel press. And then taking our brushes. I'm going to start with the yellow and just tap that in the middle there. This is where I'm going to put the fairies so I want this area to be much lighter so that's why I'm putting the yellow and then I'm going to use a little bit of green and some blue okay Let's see how this comes out. Okay, there we go. Fabulous. I can, I never ever get bored of this technique. I think it's because each time you do it you get something completely different. So, and that's what's so great about this technique. Okay, I'm going to just heat that now, dry that off and then I'm going to cut it down. Just trimming the edges off. And just make sure that that's going to actually fit. Okay, so make sure that your brayer is nice and clean. So I'm just taking any of the, that uh, excess ink off now. Always do your reflection first because it's far easier to line up the top image after you've done the reflection. Okay, so it's just a little tip. So ink up in the Versafine and then we're going to just show you in front of the camera there I'm just going to take the edge of the brayer and I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on and then just roll that over the top now because the brayer here is black you can't actually see the image that well but it is on there. And now what we're going to do is find the edge. This is the bottom where the feet are. And I'm going to look at 
making it um, central when I place it down line it up the best that you can and then just run that down the page okay so this image is never going to be absolutely perfect but you don't want that because this is a reflection okay so you want it quite sort of mottled you don't want it clear because then there would be a confusion as to what's the reflection okay so I'm going to ink up now the same image and then I'm going to line up where their feet are and then just place that down give that a good press okay so clean your brayer and now I'm going to just ink up the very edge of the brayer in the black and then I'm literally going to just go over the edge like so and then I'm going to work my way down the card now if you're not confident to do that that's absolutely fine you just take a paintbrush okay and use brushes whatever color you like and just paint that line and then you can just sort of use the paintbrush in the same way. Okay, so there's lots of different ways that you can create that line. Okay, so I'm going to now use the acetate to create the moon. So I'm going to pop that down and yeah. I'll use this one. I only want it to be subtle, so I'm going to go over the edge like so. And there we have our moon. Now if we've got a moon up there we need a moon down here so just line that up again and even less ink again just go around the edge and there we have our moon okay so I'm just going to use one of our fern stamps and I'm just going to stamp a little bit down here. So let's ink up in medieval blue. And I'll just pop those there and another stamp you can use any foliage and I'm just going to pop a little up here as well So I'm going to go around the edge of the card now. This is medieval blue again. Just 
just adds depth to the card by just going around the edge. And I'm going to use one of our worded verses about fairies. And I'll just put a little on the edge, make sure that's the right way around. I'm going to just take off a little and then just pop a little around like so and then I am going to actually use my paintbrush now and some of the brushos picking up the purple I'm just going to bring a little bit of colour And because your Versafine are oil-based inks, they'll repel the water. So don't worry about that smudging. It won't smudge. Okay. So I'm just going to give that a quick blast with the dryer just give that a little bit of bend back into shape and then we're going to use a bit of the glitter so just using my glue pen, I'm just going to go along the edge and then I'm just going to run my glue pen very finely over where the water will be. And a few little dots. And then taking our glitter, just going to shake that over the top. Tap off and you can see there where the glitter is just picked up on the water, which looks quite nice, looks effective. So there we go. That's basically how, well, one of the ways you can do a reflection. So I hope you enjoyed that guys, thanks ever so much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.